Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, with a puzzle padlock. And I'm, I have to admit, I'm always a bit um, yeah, afraid of puzzle padlocks because they are definitely not belong to the category I'm really good at. However, a puzzle padlock, the second puzzle padlock, by the way, by Sashko. I got another lock of him, which is this puzzle lock here. It's called Titan's Treasure Lock. It comes with a broken key here, and you need to use the key or everything else you can imagine to solve, that comes with the puzzle, <laughs> to solve this puzzle. Very interesting puzzle with a very, very clever solution. In multiple steps, I put you a link up here where you can find the review of this puzzle lock. And I also put your link up here about Sashko's YouTube channel that you can check out his channel, which is about locks and lock picking. However, this lock here is another creation of him. It has a very unusual shape. Um, it comes here with a little stand even, I think. And this this puzzle lock here is called Her Key to the Treasure. I think we're gonna find out why. So here it comes with a little booklet. Tools are not allowed. No bumping, no violent force needed. Good to know that. Find the key to her treasure. Once you find the key, please return it back in the purse and lock it. Once you find the key, the key is here. Please return it back in the purse and lock it. One purse padlock, one purse key. Good luck and have fun. Actually, I, I don't know what purse means. I need to, I just need to check it. Okay, if I translate it right, purse means something like a wallet or something. Recently, Titan found his precious treasures, but unfortunately, his wife is still unable to find the key to her treasure. The last thing she remembers is that she put the key in her purse. We, we will we will find out, I guess. Let me just get it out of the box. Key out, padlock out. And this padlock has a very unique and special look, if you ask me. Very, very interesting. Good and clever, because here you can place your padlock in the shelf. So not flat on the shelf, but you can place it and display it. Just missing something to maybe hang the key somewhere or put it just inside. Because I would expect it probably will not lock. I unlock the puzzle. This would be the first puzzle lock where this is possible and I will just put it inside. I can't even put it inside. So <laughs> I think that says it all. And yeah, that's it pretty much about this puzzle. I'm gonna start after the spoiler break and you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve the her key to the treasure puzzle lock. I decided to zoom in a bit to make it better visible, a little bit bigger for you to follow what I'm doing. So, as I said, this is locked. I can't really see how it's locked, but it's definitely locked. And there is this lock over here, which I can put the key in and I can twist the disc and behind of the disc, there's another disc. You see this shape? Same shape as the key, so a semicircle shape. And I can just put it in, twist it. You see? And I can twist it in a different position. And I can see the next semicircle behind of it. And try to get the key. Now it's not properly aligned. I'm not sure if you can see this. Here you can see it. Here you can see it. There's another disc. And I try to align these two now. To get in the key. What what strange lock is this? Is it does this type of lock or key has a special name? This would be very interesting to know. Also, I'm not sure if this is really part of the puzzle doing or if it's whoa and now or if it's um let's say somehow modified. Maybe I should, maybe I should focus a bit on understanding it better to understand if I'm what are the possibilities to create a puzzle out of them so this is very fiddly here now it's all the way in and I can twist it as I want everything's still okay by the way this does not really look like to me like a 
like a stable lock. Oh, I can unscrew this. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, I got my first tool. Just a broken <laughs> something or what should I do with this? I, I will not drop this inside here. Definitely not. Forget about it. I will not put this inside here. I, ne I will never get this out again. I mean, to push somewhere. I need to use this for sure. I'm absolutely sure, but seriously? Putting this one inside here? No way. Oh, 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 oh. Can you see that? Inside here. Let me zoom in a bit. Inside here, there is a small pin or something. Hmm, interesting. Ish, 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 ish. <laughs> Can I feel something if I press it like so? Oh yes, I definitely can feel something. I increase the friction here a lot when I'm twisting this puzzle. Uh, when I'm twisting the, the key. See if I'm not pushing it. Very easy to move. Very hard to move. So there happens something up here with this pin. Oh, okay, it's not a pin. It moved. Let me let me get the key again all the way in to see what happens up there. I would like to get it in and then put the small piece again on the top to press it. Here we go, all the way in. Let me put this thing again here in and press it down. What happens now? Doesn't sound very healthy. Okay, you know what? I, I'm gonna do it. Let's just drop it in. Not a good idea to do that. Okay, it's out again. Whew. I think this must be a tool here. This cannot be a coincidence. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just align all of these three layers. Let's drop this little pin inside all the way to the rear. <laughs> oh man, I will never get this out again. Okay, no risk, no fun, guys. Let's get the thing in. It's in in the first layer. It won't drop in the second layer, it seems. And I will definitely not push it in with violence because then I never will get it out. I will get it out again, hopefully. Here we go. Inside here, there is a small latch over there on the outside. You see this thing down here, there? And if I twist the key... Mm, well, you see how this is starting to move, but still not open. Let's press this again down here now when the key is completely in. Let me get this in again. Now in again, but it won't get into the second stage. Oh, 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 oh. Now it dropped all the way in, all the way to the rear. I will never get this thing out again. can feel some resistance now when it's in. Can I maybe l l uh, use this as kind of an elongation to the key? Can't see it anymore. <laughs> oh, Ooh. It's gone. No, there it is, I think. Let me get the pin out again. Yeah, it's fascinating how it comes out again every time. And what is by the by the what does this mean by the way? Is this just a a sign or oh okay three layers oh three layers and this might at least it looks like this the shape of the pin uh, the pin I'm already calling this a pin like the shape of the key. If I maybe I need to align the layers in a way 
in the same way as here so where does it start let's 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 use the one on the right so this would mean i would i need to put it in this configuration position when it's pointing downwards so maybe this is this one means the next one need to point either left or right so let's let's twist it until the point where it's getting stuck like so i mean this is definitely a hint. I completely ignored this before, but this is definitely a hint. Then the next one should be flat on the bottom. Let's try it again. This felt somehow, this felt right somehow. Let's try it again. Okay. Maybe I can use this as an indicator here when it's in the right position. Now let's try it other way around. The rear one this time. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry guys, but uh, what? I don't believe it. I solved the puzzle and I have no idea what I did. Zero, nothing. Uh, oopla. This is probably her key to the treasure. I um, don't want to see that treasure box where this key is fitting, but this must be the key to the treasure, to her treasure. Um. What just happened? I mean, this is like, oh, don't lock it again. Oh, okay, now I can lock it. Okay, after chat with Sashko, the creator, um, I learned what is the intended solution and I can tell you it's not easy at all, even if you know how to do it. Um, partially, I was actually right. Um, there's one detail because the first like I think eight or ten pieces of this puzzle This is by the way number three and does not mean three discs came with this key and this key Has a risk for opening it randomly while and I remembered and he told me I sent you a different another key And this is the key he sent by the way. I completely missed that. I still had in my cabinet now I got it and um, It's the same key basically but without the cutouts and with, with this key, it's a bit easier to align the pieces, but at the same time, it is um, also safe against random solving of the puzzle, okay? I will demonstrate you with this key now how it works. It works also with this one. So in the end, it doesn't matter. So the lock comes in this condition. First thing I discovered, and this is actually right, take this one out and then you have this pin. And you probably remember I tried this earlier. I placed the pin here and I pressed this with the shackle and I said I can feel some movement here. And this is I think the biggest, my bit, bit, biggest critics here on this puzzle is for someone who's familiar with this puzzle or with lock picking, maybe it's uh, clear, but for me it's definitely not. Um, the, the key is here, you need to look for a specific movement of the shackle when twisting it and this is something i just don't know yeah um therefore the solution is the following okay you put in the key all the way in now they are all aligned and this is also as i understood a indication how this works now i take this pin as i did before i put it in here and i press it and you, i press it on this little pin that's here on the top the silver one and the silver one goes through all the discs three discs need to be aligned the silver pin can drop down and then i will be able to unlock the puzzle okay so first thing is i'm gonna apply some pressure here on this shackle like so and I twist the pin at uh, the key here counterclockwise okay and at one point this one I feel that the shackle will drop down it will slightly move down I will show it to you again I'm not sure if you can see it watch here on the shackle and on the lock itself here it slightly moved down. Okay, if I find this position, I will pull it out. And I will continue twisting now the second disc. I think until here. And then I twist the first one until the bottom side here. Cluck. 
the pin will drop in and now if I turn it in the other direction without pressure being applied I unlock the puzzle and can take out the shack. This is, <laughs> I mean, this is very tricky. This is not, from my point of view, this is not really a mechanical puzzle. Yes, it is somehow, but somehow it's not. You need some very, very specific knowledge here to solve it. And this makes it very, very difficult, at least for me, to solve it. Therefore, my difficulty rating of this puzzle is definitely, definitely a level five out of a maximum of five. Very difficult to crack for someone who's not familiar with puzzles, uh, with, with padlocks and lock picking, I think. For someone who's familiar with lock picking, probably a lot easier. With this key, you can solve it randomly, yeah, as I did. However I did it, puzzle is solved. And I just wanted to show you the intended way also, or that you can understand what is the intended solution. Just place your opinion down in the comments. Is it too difficult? Is it still doable? Is it unfair? Is it just a normal puzzle? I'm very interested to know what you think about this puzzle. So is Sashko, a very, very interesting one. I put your link where you can get this one in the video description. That's it for today. And until next time, keep on puzzling. <laughs>